inferior vena cava filter, or just IVC filter, is an endovascular device which is typically placed in the infrarenal inferior vena cava IVC, to prevent pulmonary embolism in selected patients. This procedure is most often performed by interventional radiologists under fluoroscopic guidance. Indications. Contraindication to anticoagulation, example active gastrointestinal bleed or recent neurosurgery, pulmonary embolism despite anticoagulation, poor patient compliance with anticoagulation treatment, large ileocaval or floating IVC thrombus. A temporary, that is retrievable, vena cava filter is typically placed for a short duration, usually weeks to a few months. The design of the temporary filter permits subsequent endovascular retrieval. In certain patients vena cava filters are left in situ indefinitely. These devices may be called permanent filters. Contraindications. It is uncommon to be unable to place an inferior vena cava filter. Contraindications include. Complete vena cava thrombosis. Vena cava is too small or too large to safely admit a filter. And septic thromboembolism. Positioning, room setup. The procedure is usually performed in the angiography suite with the patient in a supine position. Regular monitoring of the vital signs by a suitably trained staff member is recommended during the procedure. Clean skin with antiseptic solution and drape to maintain sterility for the procedure. Equipment. Ultrasound machine. 18 gauge needle. Alternatively 22 or 21 gauge needle and a micro puncture access set. 0.035, vascular guide wire, then multi-side hole straight or pigtail catheter, and commercially available vena cava filter set. Technique. Specific technical steps may vary according to personal preference, and on the type of filter being used. Generally, internal jugular or femoral vein is punctured under ultrasound guidance, and a guide wire is placed in the IVC. A venogram is obtained by injecting contrast through a multi-side hole catheter and positioned in lower IVC or distal common iliac vein. The venogram is used to reassess the IVC for patency, size and anomalies. The location of the renal veins is often indicated by the presence of contrast reflux or flow voids. The venous access is dilated using a dilator. The vena cava filter is subsequently deployed in a suitable location. Through a delivery sheet, typically the infra-renal IVC. Another venogram is obtained to ensure satisfactory deployment of the filter. The delivery sheath is removed. Hemostasis is secured using manual compression. Complications. Bleeding. Filter migration. Locations include the heart, intrahepatic IVC, hepatic veins, renal veins and iliac veins. Filter tilting, which makes removal more difficult. Vena cava injury. Vena cava thrombosis and obstruction. Pulmonary embolism may occur despite the filter. Venous insufficiency. Filter fracture. Natural, attritional, or iatrogenic fragments may embed in IVC wall or migrate. Insertion and guidewire related complications. <laughs>